Part of not knowing, I guess, would be forgetting all the things I've heard you say in videos and all the things I've heard you say in books. So, I would like, if, if, if you would help me out, um, could we talk about uh, the reality of this moment? Yeah, I'd like to have a conversation about the reality of this moment. Although I don't know where, I, I don't necessarily want it to go anywhere, but I would like to start by saying that. I just heard your voice, your question, or your, what you have been asking. I see people in front of me. My, the reality of this moment is the experience of this moment. It's not different from yours. What is important is not as much what I see as what I don't see. And what I don't see is someone called Francis. And if you look carefully, you'll be able to see that you don't see someone called Anthony, either. I'm not different from you. We are all the same experience. You see images, you think thoughts, you hear sounds. But you don't see the perceiver. You don't see Anthony. There is no Anthony in the picture. So experientially, there is no Anthony. It's very simple. There is simply the belief that there is Anthony there. It's like the clothes of the naked emperor. Am I saying that there is no awareness? No, of course there is awareness. I'm saying there is nobody? No. My words are being heard. So there is a reality that hears them. But what can I say about this reality? Almost nothing. Can I say it is limited? No. Can I say it was born? No. Can I say it's going to die? No. Can I say it has a color, a shape, a weight, a, lo a location? Can I say it is in time and evolves in time? None of the above. From my experience, I can only say that it is. And that its existence is in fact my existence. and that they are indissociable. And that's all I can say from experience. Concepts of 
theories about what I am. Anthony or Francis, there are plenty of those. But experientially, it gets reduced to a very, very bare minimum. So the question then becomes, do I choose a theory or do I choose the experience? There's a conversation or the appearance of one. It's interesting to speak and not identify with the body. Yes, because after viewing, after following the things you have said for about a year, I'm so very interested, but I, it's confusing. I don't want to, I know, I don't know, confuse. But there's something. Yeah. So the appearance of Anthony's body and the appearance of Francis's body are equally myself. But it's funny to say that because the body is saying that. But as from the position of awareness, which I always, which in my experience, the position of the dreamer made that simpler for me. in the sense that how all of this could be appearing in what I actually am. Please chime in. And, but that's still theories. You mentioned concepts and theories. I don't know where this is going. Well, when we use words, at some point, the rubber has to meet the road, you see? <sighs> A 
a physicist when he uses words such as position, mass, velocity, energy. At some point, he has to go to the lab, you know, yeah. take a massive object, object uh, a watch, drop this object in the gravitational field, and measure how long it takes to travel one meter, and then how much it takes to travel the next meter, etc. That's when the rubber meets the road, when the theory meets the actual experience. In the same way here, we use words, that's the theory. Like awareness, I, reality, Francis, Jonathan, body, world. But these words, at some point, have to meet experience. They have to correspond to our experience, and then we say, yes, that's true. Just as a physicist says, yes, that's true. There is a uniform acceleration on the surface of the Earth. 